Hi my dear children welcome back to our max class hope all of you are doing well today we are going to continue this chapter statistics with a new topic double bar graph here we are not drawing a double bar graph instead we are making tables from the information given in the double bar graph and to interpret those values here look at this double bar graph The bar graph below shows the number of boys and girls present in class 5 of a school from 1st to 5th of June. In this graph, the yellow bar shows the number of boys and the red bar shows the number of girls. We have to complete this table based on this graph. According to the height of each bars, we can easily find out the number of boys and girls present on each day then the total of it makes the number of children present on each day let's do it now look at the bars drawn on 1st june 2015 here the number of boys present on that day is equal to 22 and the number of girls present on that day is equal to 26 then The total of 22 and 26 makes 48. Next on 2nd June 2015 both the bars given are having the same height. That means the number of boys and girls present on that day were equal. The number of boys present on that day is equal to 26 and the number of girls present on that day is also equal to 26. Then The total of 26 and 26 makes 52. Next on 3rd June 2015 the number of boys present on that day was between 24 and 26 that is equal to 25 and the number of girls present on that day was between 20 and 22 that is equal to 21. Then the total of 25 and 21 makes 46. Next On 4th June 2015 the number of boys present on that day was 24 and the number of girls present on that day was between 26 and 28 that is equal to 27 then the total of it makes 51 next on 5th June 2015 the number of boys present on that day is equal to 28 and the number of girls present on that day is equal to 26 then the total number of children present on that day is equal to 28 plus 26 that is equal to 54 now we have to find out the answers of the following questions from the table question number 1 on which day was the least number of children present look at this total column and find out on which day the least number of children present yes it was on 3rd june 2015 second question on which day was the most number of boys present look here on the number of boys column on which day was the most number of boys present yes it was on 5th june 2015 and the number of boys present on that day is equal to 28 and the least that means we have to find out on which day was the least number of boys present look at this number of boys column and find out on which day was the least number of boys present yes it was on 1st june 2015 and the number of boys present on that day is equal to 22 next question number 3 on which day was the most number of girls present look at the number of girls column in the table and find out on which day was the most number of girls present yes it was on 4th june 2015 and the number of girls present on that day is equal to 27 and the least we have to find out on which day was the least number of girls present yes it was on 3rd june 2015 and the number of girls present on that day is equal to 21 next question number 4 on which day was the difference in the number between boys and girls the most 
Here, we have to find out the difference in the number of boys and girls in each day. Look at this table. On 1st June, the difference in the number of boys and girls is equal to 26 minus 22 that is equal to 4. On 2nd June, the difference is 26 minus 26 that is equal to 0. On 3rd June, the difference is equal to 25 minus 21 that is equal to 4. On 4th June, the difference is equal to 27 minus 24 that is equal to 3. On 5th June, the difference is equal to 28 minus 26 that is equal to 2. Here, the difference in the number of boys and girls are most on two days. On 1st June 2015 and on 3rd June 2015, the difference in the number of boys and girls are the most. That is, the difference is equal to 4. Is it clear for you? Here is a project for you. Do this in your project book. This chapter is completed and we had completed the third term portions as well. I hope you all understood what had taught in these classes. Study well. Okay. Thank you.